Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Isaac. We're jumping again, this time another regular old run. We're just going to jump in as Isaac, because I haven't played as Isaac in ages, to be honest. So I just thought let's just do an Isaac run and see what comes about. As I said, as I'm pre-recording some of these episodes for uh, holiday, I didn't want to do a bunch of specific content around certain mods and stuff, just because... I just don't know what's going to be out at the time, so I'd rather do more neutral content. Um, but I also want to try out doing more regular runs, as you guys, some of you guys have suggested you want to see more of those. I asked in one of the previous episodes about um, what you guys want to see in the future. Unfortunately, as of the time of recording this video, that video is not out yet, so I have not seen your guys' answers. But I'm going to assume what the answer will be and base some of the recordings up until then on that assumption. And we'll see how that goes. Decap attack. We got a reroll on that straight away. Um, spot you can collect. F uh. We're probably gonna reroll that again, right? Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, automatically uses your main active item three times and removes it. Doesn't affect pocket active. Wait, I don't want to remove my active item. No, thank you. Um. Removes one broken heart, adds a random special curse. Not ideal here. We got uh, also a token there that we might be able to use uh, in the future on this floor. If we get anything nice, we might want to duplicate. It'd be nice to get like a dime or something or a soul heart duplicated. That would be the premium experience. A single penny isn't exactly what I'm looking for. We'll see if we get another charge here, but unfortunately, a little bit of a bust on our first item room, which is always a bit sad when you're playing as Isaac. You never really want to have a first item room have nothing in it, but hey ho. But what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll go for my secret room because there's actually plenty of secret room layouts that include um, that include batteries and like the potato batteries and little mini batteries and all that sort of stuff. So I think looking for our secret room here is a decent way forward. Um, I think it's here, but it might not be. Yeah, there you go. Um, oh, okay. I wasn't expecting a crawl space. And we get ourselves whatever the hell that is. I don't actually know what that is. That's Mutant Spider. Okay. Oh, dude, please let me get the second one. Uh, yes. Okay. Unexpected double Mutant Spider for the first floor. That's it. Uh, that's pretty nice. So now with two Mutant Spiders, we are firing uh, one, two, three. I think we're firing six shots at once. Yeah. It doesn't quite uh, double it up to eight. But I think firing six shots on the first floor is... Uh, Pretty good stuff. Pretty good going. Okay. Shall I just murder this guy? Yeah, why not? I'll take your pill as well. See what you got going on. Uh, we could try and look for a second secret room potentially, but I'm actually not quite sure where that would be. It might be in here. Um, I'll, I'll give it a look. Unfortunately, I didn't get it on the first bomb, and I'm not willing to put another bomb into that. So, although our item room didn't really pan out, I would say a reflected mutant spider for six shots on the first floor isn't exactly bad. Oh, really? This has been a dookie floor otherwise, though. At least, at least give me the Dr. Fetus baby rather than the cube of meat. That would, the cube of meat would really upset me right now, I'll be honest. It really would. It would not bode well for my future enjoyment of this run. Ah, you... You absolute cream cracker. Right, I'm just going to see if see what else is doable on this floor. Um, not much else by the looks of it. I'm going to bomb this guy and this in the hope that we get enough money and a battery charge. Unfortunately, that isn't what happened. We got... A battery charge, but we did not get enough money to uh, to purchase it, and we don't have enough bombs left to grab anything. A little bit of a of an L floor there, a little bit of an L floor, but I don't know. Let's let's let's, let's keep it moving on. Ah, oh, there's a tinted rock right there as well. That was a weird first floor. Let's put it that way. But we're gonna go down to boiler, and uh, we have a key straight away for our item room. That's decent. And we get another active item. Huzzah. Do you know what? I actually don't mind that. A little bit of a damage up and um, we're able to heal ourselves a little bit, which is very, very nice. Very, very nice. But yeah, as for a question of the day today, uh, drop, dropping this trinket also drops players' red hearts. What? I don't know why I'd want that. Um, As for the question of the day today, 
Um, what's something that you generally underrate? What's something that you really... You, you, you think... Because I feel like underrating stuff is something you've really got to actively think about. Because you sometimes don't realise you're underrating it until you sort of specifically think about it. I think that's a decent question. What's something you underrate? I think, I think for me, it's definitely got to be, like, anime as a whole. I'm just so adverse to actually trying it because of the people that try to make you try it being insufferable that I've just basically sworn off ever watching any. And I'm probably locking myself off of a lot of very, very good content online and just in general. But honestly, people ruin things very easily. <laughs> <laughs> and that is one of them. Literally anyone I know that that likes anime is fucking insufferable. It's awful. <laughs> it's it's one of those things that's just like, oh man. Like, I don't really know anyone. I mean, this this might just be be done be being unlucky to be fair. But I don't really know anyone that likes anime and and also just likes other stuff as well. Everyone that I know that like anime basically just. It's the only thing they enjoy and the only thing they want to talk about, and it's just I know too many people like that that I'm just like, nah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna not. <laughs> but it's definitely something that I feel like I need to just take the plunge and try because I know there's a, a whole host of amazing content out there that I'm like basically locking myself off from that's frankly kind of stupid of me to do. I absolutely love doing that to this guy. Gotta get the timing just right to hit his tail. It's a little difficult. Ah, oh, damn it. I've, I've buggered this. I've locked myself off from half of the entire room. Luckily, it didn't actually end up mattering, I don't think. Good, good. Ooh, glass eye is a good item. Um, Do I want to go devil deal here? I don't think I do with only three red hearts. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave that as is. Uh, I'm gonna quickly look for the secret room here. Um, I'm going to play my regular runs like I do when I'm on my win streak and try and actually min-max a little bit and try and go for a win. Um, I feel like I owe it to you guys to try and play it as best I can. And also as well, doing that I think just affords you the ability to like find more interesting stuff in secret rooms and potentially just see more modded items. So I think I'm going to take the opportunity to do that. Um, we have a golden key here, so this is definitely the right choice. That was unexpected. Um, I will pop it once. Unfortunately, we're getting a lot of active items at the minute. But we do get to reroll this into a secret room item now. Spawn to burn heart when you take fatal damage or red heart containers to convert into empty burn hearts. Well, I wouldn't say it's the most interesting item ever. That's actually a pretty decent item to grab, to be honest. I do not mind that at all. Um, having a burn heart as well is pretty good. Keeps us with some protection. And yeah, let's keep going down. We also get to fill it. And the eternal heart as well will grow up. Which is rather, rather nice. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the, the costume we've got right now, the visuals. Dude, that was a really, really bad hit. Thank God we have that burn heart, because that, that was just stupid. But, we got healed there from um, my good old, my good old bat friend. I like that. Okay, you're a little annoying, but not too bad. Oh, you're birth champions, I see. Whoa, is this a new enemy? I don't think I've seen that guy before. I don't recognize him. Okay, I'm quite liking the boiler floor though. I don't know if I'm gonna stick on alt path the entire time here. I just, I always seem to like if I've if I've got a decent amount of power and I've got the extra keys, like going to the alt path is just kind of like why not? Okay, you're being annoying. Wait for that to fall. Another active per chance. Oh no, friendly monsters okay, but I think I'm gonna. Use a reroll there. Although I'm gonna hold out actually before rerolling to see if I get an angel deal first, because obviously angel deal rerolls on the key piece are much more valuable. So I'm gonna hold off on rerolling until I at least fight my boss, because I'd much rather reroll an angel deal and take the uh, friendly monster. But we'll see what happens. Oh, this de this de dude's a really annoying enemy. He just covers the floor and so much creep. Yep. You better stop, boy. You better stop. Extra key there. Lovely. That guy's not too bad. Oh my god, what on earth is that? I've not seen you before. But I don't want to deal with you. And I didn't have to. 
Yeah, so at the minute we've got kind of decent damage. I think the, the glass eye really helped out. But it's not crazy yet. I'd, I'd like to get some fire rate increases. That That's what would make this run pretty special. Yeah, look look at this. It's For me, the my issue with them is the insane range they have. They, they seem to be able to fire like their little spews across the entire room, which I just think is silly. Dude, stop. Do not break my burn heart. Look, look at that. Look, stop. Chill the hell out. I'm actually going to play it safe here, and I'm going to go back all the way to this room with a half red heart, just to make sure I don't lose my burn heart. Found our secret room there. Lovely. Thank you. I just want to make sure to keep my burn heart alive, because that thing's protecting us from losing our angel deal chance right now. Um... Teleport Isaac to the super secret room, I guess. What we got going on in here? We got a soul heart there. I think that's probably the best choice right now, right? And then we can see if we can bomb these blue fires here. There you go. A little bit more angel chance as well before the boss. Why not? Okay, we got a little bit more protection for our deal now, which is good. I'll actually put a bomb on you because, oh, that was terrible. I should not have shot it, but he ran the wrong way as well. I didn't expect him to charge at me. Now, I don't exactly know this boss super well. Is this the one that has two phases? I can't remember. We'll see. I'm trying to stay close to him to hit as many shots as possible, but obviously he can do some attacks that aren't the friendliest if I do that. Okay, no, he doesn't have two phases. Good. And we did indeed get an angel deal, so I'm very, very glad that I kept a bomb um, for that. Now we can reroll two of these. I don't want the uh, the item that's on the floor there either. It's good. It's good, but um, I don't really need a revival right now when I've literally already got one. So I'm going to stave off from that for now. I'm going to try to get this guy to run into the fires when I can, but it's not going to be super plausible. Okay, I actually managed to do a decent amount of damage with him from, from the fires there. There you go. We'll pop both of those. And do you know when I was saying I didn't need a revive? Well, guess what? It gave me one anyways. Strikes groups of enemies with lightning, lightning arcs between enemies, and this item's just trash. In fact, so much so that I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. The last time I had it, it literally did nothing. So let's, uh, let's grab it and see, but that's not exactly the best of uh, pickups, I'll be honest. Grab a world card for the next floor. And we'll go and get our friendly monster or whatever the hell it was called. The little lightning fella seems decent, though. But, th yeah, that probably wasn't the best of rerolls. Ooh. Requires five coins. Um. Yeah, do you know what? Why not? Wow, okay. That's a pretty good item to get. That's a planetarium item, that is. Not a bad catch there. Not a bad catch. Oh, my God. Careful. Shouldn't have gone through the middle there, but oh, well. Right, friendly monster, or I could take the random item. I, I'm more interested in the random, you know. Glaucoma, blinding tears, I'm actually not too displeased with that at all. Glaucoma's fine by me. And let's uh, let's head on out. We pretty much cleared this entire floor there, that was pretty good. We managed to grab everything we can. And yeah, I think I'm going to just go down the regular path right now, considering I only have one bomb as well, I mean, it makes sense. Um, I, what, I, what I probably should have done though is bomb the mirror to get more reflected items. I always forget to do that. The reflected items, if you don't know, are what we got on the first floor, which is why we've got a double mutant spider. I'll kill him before he gets underground, thank you. Oh wow, that is a very, very quick boss fight. We've got the gems in this guy. I really like this, uh, this little dude firing the electric, to be honest. He's kind of amazing. And these gemstones are pretty goddamn good, too. Pretty easy-peasy fight there for us. Another angel deal, perchance? No, a devil deal. Do you know what? Now, I'm actually at the point where I could probably go for a devil. Probably should have waited until I had my active charged, but oh well. Oh, are you kidding me? Um, I'll take that. Little Minx, I absolutely hate. Stay away from me. I do not want it. Yeah, Little Minx one of those items that I just, like... It, I, I under, I, I like someone's explained it to me now, so I do understand how it works. But I just, I just don't, I don't want to ent entertain the idea of using it. It's just too much of a mess around. Like 
you you double tap and it launches into an enemy, and that enemy becomes like aggressive but invincible, but it can ta attack other enemies and do high damage, and then it takes more damage. So when the when you pull the minx out, it dies quicker. It's just like I feel like I could just have an easier time if I just goddamn shot it and killed it. Get electrified, boys. Getting some good uh, room rewards at the moment as well. That's good. And what we got going on in here? Bleeding heart. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty good. We'll take that. Cool. And we'll quickly check in here. Nothing good. I'll buy the soul heart though. And oh, I can't quite afford that heart actually. I'll buy the sack actually. Why not? We're getting some really good stuff from the sacks. Yeah. Let's put us in a good spot. Okay, I'll go do this mini boss as well, because why not? But I'm not going to full clear everything. I'm just going to go to my uh, secret room and do the mini boss and see what item I get. What's the best mini boss item? Shoop, shoop the whoop or Bob's Rotten Head in terms of actives are both really, really good. I'd probably say Bob's Rotten Head is better. Um, just for the fact that it can one-shot bosses most of the time and it doesn't depend on your DPS. But Shoot the Whoop has sort of better end game potential because it is based on your DPS. Or your damage, so not DPS as such. Ugh, Soul of Jacob and Ezel. Very much no thank you. This is a pretty good one though, just a, a, a classic HP up. I wouldn't mind getting that. It does require a bomb to get though if it does drop anything, but we've got plenty of those right now. Yeah, there you go, look. Or I could re-roll it, you know? Re-rolling it. Let's, let's check our secret room first, just to make sure we don't have anything better in here to re-roll. But you know what? I'm I'm tempted by re-rolling it. Because I don't really need the red heart, do I? So let, let, let's do that, shall we? And we get an active item. It's not a bad active item. Um, we got Spider Baby through that as well. Wasn't expecting that. Do we have any way to charge our active? I, th I think I think if we do the rest of these rooms, we can get a charge off, right? The goddamn crabs. The crabs are back in town. I can't believe that hit me. That was so stupid. I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I say I can't believe it, it, it hit me. I actually can believe it, because as I said, I wasn't paying attention. Um, I think I've got enough rooms here to get a charge, right? I'm, 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 I, I could just count, but... Seems like a lot of effort. Yeah, we've got just enough. As, lo as long as those other two rooms are combat rooms, we have just enough here. Dude, this little, this little electric buddy is kind of amazing. I'm going to quickly check the second secret room here because it seems likely. Yeah, let's go do one more room, and then we'll give it another reroll and hope it's not an active. <gasps> Ooh, I've received an email. I wonder who it's from. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Did anyone watch Blue's Clues when they were younger? My god, that, that show was the shit. That show was the shit. It's kind of nice to see that there's some, like, actually good TV... Um, TV shows for children nowadays. I feel like when I was younger, they were all like pretty amazing. Ooh, bombs teleport to enemies before they explode. Um, we were all like pretty amazing and they like, like held up pretty well. Like, I mean, you see like all the SpongeBob memes and all that sort of stuff. But then like, just, there's just so much shit. But then like nowadays, there's like Bluey and stuff, which I've heard like a bunch of people that, that are like my age. I'm like 27 now, but I've heard a bunch of people like my age watch Bluey and say it's pretty good. So I'm kind of like, do you know what? good on them for doing something good, because I, I feel like children's TV went through an era of just being, like, pretty colours for a while, rather than being actually good. And then, like, being overly childish to the point. Like, the whole point of children's TV, or I won't say the whole point, but one of the big draws of children's TV back when I was younger was that, like, the TV shows were, were obviously good for kids, but they had a decent amount of appeal for adults as well. Because, you know what? Adults have to sit and watch that shit too. Like... <laughs> So they, they were, like, reasonably okay to watch as an adult for that reason, because they knew that there was parents sitting there having to watch through it, and they didn't want to have to have them sit through super childish crap. 
Um, so, like, SpongeBob is full of a bunch of, like, adult jerks and, and stuff that obviously just flies right over kids' heads. But I feel like they got scared to do that for a while. And it's like, mm, it didn't really harm anyone. Like, the kids didn't know at the time. And there is still shows that do it, but I feel like for a while, they just, like, they kind of stopped that. And it just, eh, it made them way worse. Realistically. Shouldn't be watching children's TV shows anyways, but there you have it. Oh, you got minim... What did you get minimized by, then? I don't actually know what did that. Okay. We're having a good time here, though. I do want, I do want to get some fire rate increases and potentially a tear effect, though, on this run. Piercing would be quite nice, too. I'm asking a lot right now. I like the fact that I can just plant my bombs anywhere now. That's actually quite nice. Thank you. Oh my lord. We we go and shopping, boys. We go and shopping. Hey, that's a fire rate increase I can get behind. I'm pretty sure we got a secret room here. Nope. Pretty sure we got a secret room here. How's that? <laughs> But yeah, I can just like plant a bomb anywhere and it'll teleport to him and detonate, which I think is pretty cool. I was hoping I'd get an item from him to reroll, but sadly we are not so lucky. Okay. Ooh, we got some batteries in here, that's good. So if this is terrible. Oop, oh, it's definitely not terrible. That's a really good item for us. That's actually really, really, really good with the uh six tiers we're firing right now. Nice. If, like I said, if we get piercing on this as well, that would be pretty amazing. But so far, so good. Electric dice, I like. Even though electric dice is kind of weird with D6, I still like it quite a lot. I'll quickly check out what we've got going on here. I forget which one this is. It's just one we can use in our boss fight. I just give us flight as well, I guess. We could, uh, we could use it for flight if need be. And we're pretty much onto the boss now, I reckon. I like having the bouncy tiers in here, that's helping. But you can see this is up to our DPS. Quite a bit. <laughs> it's kind of like mini Godhead. Ooh, this seems like a a real fun room. I wonder if I can just kill him with the uh with a little electric buddy. There you go. <laughs> Don't have to mess around with that crap. Like, so much healing here. <laughs> Not that I need it, but thank you. Star is pretty decent here. I like it. And then in here... Oh, lovely. Oh, man, that makes me sad. No item for my devil deal there. I could go and do sack room. I'll be honest, I think I want to. Like, it's, it's a bit risky because we'd lose a lot of soul heart health. But... I'll be honest, I'm in a position where I'm a little miffed. A little miffed with that um, experience right there we got in the uh, the old devil room. And I think we can do better. I think we can do better. Hello, good sir. I've got 14 bombs. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to play out that guy. But the thing is, those guys so rarely pay out with items, it might not be worth it. Because I would like an extra bomb item to go along with my teleporting bombs. That would be pretty nice. But yeah, let's go do a sack room for a bit here and see if we can get something going on. One, two, three, four... Five, six, and seven. Sadly, a whole lot of nothing. A. Alright, let's fight you. Grab that. Not what I was looking for there. 
Why did I take the key piece? I was gonna re-roll it. Why did I why did I pick that up? The whole point of this was to re-roll Oh, I'm stupid. Wait a minute. Oh no 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 no. I forgot about this, I'm gonna be honest. Big oops, I guess. Big oops. Well, um, I wasn't paying attention. I was just like trying to break the burn heart. I forgot that this was a thing. <laughs> I never do this. I just kind of forgot. Well, um, this has cut this run a little short, I guess. We'll see how it goes. We're on one burn heart at the moment. Yeah, this is, uh, this is not burning well here. I'd very much like some healing, please, game. Oh my god, I did not realize there was so much more to this room. That purple fire better not shoot me at the worst possible time. I, I honestly, I don't really know. Yeah, I don't really know Skolex very well at all. Oh my god. I managed to revive. My feathered beast helped me. Oh my lord. Can, can, can this guy die, please? He's taking so long to die. Skolex. And also, the, the electricity is, is really, really shitting on the frame rate right now. Okay. I feel like this can only get worse. Dude, the burn fucking dudes need to die, man. What the hell? Oh my god, please give me health. This is nerve-wracking right now. <laughs> Where the hell do you come from? Oh my god, it blew up both of them for some reason. We did get a soul hat out of it though. I'm not quite sure why that worked the way it did, but... Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. I lost it instantly. Not a good enemy. Not a good enemy. <laughs> Oh, man. This is some heavy stress right now. Oh, God, these things shoot. Oh, God, these things shoot. That guy's ran himself straight into a fire. Can't blame him. Oh, no. Yeah, I was going to say mozzie, really. Okay, the little bird of hope thing I, I, I claimed was bad. It's absolutely saving my life right now. Oh my god, a soul heart. <laughs> this is quite something. All damage taken gives a broken heart instead. That sounds divine right about now. <laughs> Normally, that would be a never take, but right now that sounds absolutely beautiful. Well then, it's boss time. Hello, the lamb. Our, bo our bombs teleport directly to him before exploding, so we might as well just use all of our bombs.
Well then. Well, that was unexpected, to say the least. I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> this is not how I planned on this episode going, but there you go. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.